Hey guys, coming back to you again on Team Deathmatch. Uh, this one here is Point Du Hawk. I like this map pretty well. I'm rocking PPSH with extended mags because it gives me 50 something round. I think 52, yeah, 52 rounds and uh, foregrip, which is my buddy Ninja Dilly said. Now nah, that annoys me because you said that, but it doesn't show your grip, unfortunately. It's kind of crazy. You just your hand goes on the drum. Uh, drum of the magazine and it just holds on to that and even when you reload you don't see the animation of a grip on the end of the uh, gun but I promise you that's one of the attachments I picked on this weapon that helps me with those longer range engagements now there's nothing you can do about a shotgun in your back I don't know where in the world I guess he come up from this backside here I'm running with my buddy Jay's revenge he just got a, a triple on that one and I think this was play of the game right here. Dun, 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 dun. Even though I died, it still looked cool, and you'll see it at the end. But uh, yeah, we were playing a uh, few TDMs, and I uh, wanted to bring this game to you as well. This was after we played with the grease gun for a little bit, and he was asking uh, what what gun I like to use the most, and I told him I said I. I feel like I do best with the uh, the PPSH. Uh, I like the STG44. I know I do use the bar from time to time. Uh, the Type 100 is okay for me at times. Um, I'm trying to get to use the grease gun a little bit more. And I don't use the sniper rifles a whole lot, even though I have my, uh, I was, Leonfield is bronzed right now, which I can't believe that. I've never... I didn't know that I played with it that much to get it all the way to bronze. Um, but, um, yeah. I mean, I like the PPSH because of the fact that, like I said, it's got, you know, a high magazine. Pretty accurate up close when you go to spraying people. And it just, look at this guy. I saw you. So I'm just setting S mines. Hitting a few people. Now it's time to get out of that area if I can without dying. I use those uh, those concuss as fillers for basically fit, making sure and feeling out that you know the enemy's out there or if it's safe to go that way. I know there's always a guy right there. How I survived that shotgun. I don't know what it is about the shotgun since they buffed them. Everybody's using them now. And to me, it's like, I don't know. It, it can be looked at the same way as snipers getting shot over and over by the same weapon. It just gets annoying. I guess if everybody was using PPSHs, then the PPSH would get annoying to be killed by. But I use it a lot, so it's no big deal for me. So I'm holding on to a counter. I'm waiting for the enemy to call in their UAV, which I might... I may switch this streak out, guys, for something else, glide bomb or something else. It's really good in free-for-all, the counter UAV is, but in TDM, I find that it just, I don't know. It doesn't go in as well as some of the other score streaks. There's a whole bunch of people there, but I don't think, let's see. One, two. I got two or three. A couple hit markers. Throw up the counter because guess what? It's not doing me any good by just holding on to it. It'll prevent them from calling in their UAV for a few more seconds, allowing me to move across the map. Here's somebody. King Slayer. Moving around too. This is expeditionary class. I, I usually just hold down and camp an area and just hold down a side. But uh, I was like, let me just run around, which I never do. I always get shot in the back by, by uh, shotguns and such in the back. But uh, it was pretty effective if you just run around and drop your S mines and then just run away. And nine times out of ten, they'll eat that. Huh? Somebody threw a concuss at me. Let me throw one back at them. Oh, I got a hit marker. Oh, merciless. Good job. Lay down, reload, make it look like I'm dead. And I'm fixing to be dead from those grenades. 
pay down again. Let's see. I think I die right here. No. There it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I knew it was coming. But that is a good placement on either side of that trench. Put an S mine down because that way if they run left or right, they're screwed. I get up in this little area right here just to basically see what I can see. Sometimes you can see like three or four guys running down in that little trench. But it's not safe to stay up here because you can get flanked from either side. I've already used my S mines on the other side of the map. And it's time to move. Seems like when you hold down a spot and you kill somebody and you move to another spot and then hold down a spot and then kill somebody and then move, it seems to work a little bit better sometimes than just standing in the same spot because become, you become so predictable to the enemy and they know exactly where to uh, uh, flank you from. You know They know what position you've been holding down. They'll come from the opposite way and uh, you'll lose. But this way here catches them off guard a little bit. You're kind of just anywhere and everywhere. I knew that was it. I killed him, but he got me with the fire breathing shotgun. Oh, he's just, what is he doing in that top of that window? If I could have one more attachment, I would probably put, uh, even though th I know this really doesn't matter, I'd run quick grip grip and extended mags it, it, I think that would complete that weapon perfectly uh, just to be able to give me that much more uh, quickness drawing the weapon up but it is a good weapon I very highly suggest using it with extended mags and grip and uh, you can take out a whole group of people just like I did right there and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it just a little little TDM guys i'll be back with more i'm on time i'm out guys <laughs>